Hi, my little astronauts. Today, we're going to learn a little bit more about each planet, and then maybe we'll even take a trip into outer space. We'll have to put on our spacesuits and get in our rocket ship and blast off, and we'll see what we can find in outer space. Let's start with our calendar, and then we'll talk about each planet. Ready? Put up your five and two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in the week. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's count the number to find out what the date is. One, two, three, four, five, six. For calendar, we say sixth. Can you say sixth? Good. Today is W W Wednesday, May sixth, two thousand twenty. Let's say it one more time together. Today is Wednesday. May 6, 2020. Great. Put on those spying eyes. Can you look out the window? Let's see what the weather is here on our planet Earth. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it windy? Is it cloudy? Is there rain or is there sun? I see something trying to peek out, but there's big white fluffy things covering it. That's right, a little bit cloudy with a little bit of sun trying to peek through, so we'll give it a mostly cloudy day. Good job. All right, my little astronauts, today we're going to talk about something called gravity. Can you say gravity? That's our cool new science word. Gravity is something that pulls things down. Let's sing a song together to learn all about it. Gravity is pulling down, pulling down, pulling down. Gravity is pulling down all around you. Take a ball and toss it high. Will it stay in the sky? Gravity will pull it down all around you. Gravity is pulling down, pulling down, pulling down. Gravity is pulling down all around you. When you jump into the air, do you float away into the sky? No. When we throw a ball, does it stay up forever and ever and float away? No. That's because of gravity. Can you say gravity? Gravity is holding our feet down. If there wasn't any gravity, we would just be floating around. Do you know who floats around? The astronauts in outer space. When they're in their space shuttle, there's no gravity. Once they get off of the Earth in their space shuttle, they do not have gravity anymore. Once they get farther away from Earth, they start to float around. You could see videos of them where they're floating and doing twists and turns. It's really cool. On our planet Earth, the gravity is holding us. The gravity is helping things like this ball to fly down from the air. And gravity also has another important job. Gravity is keeping the planets in our solar system going around the sun. All of these things have gravity. The sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, all of them have gravity. Do you know who has the strongest gravity? I'll give you a clue. It's in the middle because it's so giant. And the bigger it is, that means the more gravity it has. Do you know what it is? What's the biggest one that has the most gravity? The sun. The sun has the most gravity, and that's why all of these planets are orbiting around. Do you remember our special word orbit? Orbit means when one thing goes around another. The gravity from the sun is keeping all these planets spinning around together in our solar system. Otherwise, they would just be floating all away. 
the gravity from the sun keeps every single planet moving around. Let's sing a song to help us remember that special word gravity. Planets all have gravity. Planets all have gravity. Planets all have gravity. Orbiting the sun you see. It keeps them spinning around the sun because it is the biggest one. They never float away in space. Sun's gravity holds them in place. Let's sing it one more time, ready? Planets all have gravity. Planets all have gravity. Planets all have gravity. Orbiting the sun you see. It keeps them spinning around the sun because it is the biggest one. They never float away in space. Sun's gravity holds them in place. The gravity from the sun is almost like pulling. It's pulling them in. It doesn't want them to float away into outer space. So the gravity from the sun kind of acts like a string holding those planets around and they keep moving around the sun like this around and round. They never float away and go somewhere else in outer space. They always stay going around and around the sun. Our special Earth is always going around the sun. The Earth goes around the sun. The Earth goes around the sun. Once a year, every year, the Earth goes around the sun. It takes the Earth one whole year to take its trip around the sun. That's how long it takes for the Earth to go one time around the sun. 365 days, one year. The Earth goes around the sun. The Earth goes around the sun. Once a year, every year, the Earth goes around the sun. So while it's floating in space, the gravity of the sun is making sure the Earth doesn't float away. And it keeps pulling it around and around the sun. And the trip around takes one whole year. That's pretty neat. Let's read this special book to get some more information on the planets. Let's see if you can remember their names. What's out there? Ready? Let's go. Let's zoom into space. Let's zoom past the moon. Let's visit the shining stars and their planets. Most stars have families of planets. The planets in the family orbit or travel around the star. Do you know what our star is? The sun. The sun is a star. Earth, our planet, orbits the sun. Earth is a rocky planet. One million Earths could fit into the sun. That's how giant it is. Gas planets and rocky planets orbit our sun. They are all part of the sun's family. So some of the planets are made of gas and some of them are made of rocks. Let's find out which ones. Here are the giant gas planets. They are far, far away from the sun. Clouds of gas swirl and whirl around. There's nothing to land on. There's nothing to even stand on. They're made of gas, which means that we can't stand on it like we can stand on the ground here on Earth. Gas giants usually have rings spinning around them. The most famous one is Saturn with the biggest rings. We can even see them on Neptune, Uranus, and a little bit around Jupiter. Hang on to your space helmet. Neptune is a windy gas planet, the blue planet Neptune. Gas giant Uranus is tipped on its side. It's the only planet that spins on its side. And look, even the rings are going around this way. Instead of this way, like a hula hoop, like on Saturn. Saturn is famous for its rings. Saturn's rings are made of bits of ice and rock. So if we looked closely at the rings, we would see rocks going all around Saturn. The gravity from Saturn is holding those rocks spinning around the planet instead of letting those rocks go out into outer space. You can pretend to be Saturn by putting a hula hoop around your waist and spinning it around. The hula hoop will be like Saturn's rings. Gas giant Jupiter does things in a big way. 
It's the biggest planet in the sun's family. It also has huge storms. One has been blowing for over 300 years. Wow! It also has a great red spot. The great red spot is actually a giant storm. Asteroids rock. Asteroids are rocks. Most are in the asteroid belt. Do they mean a belt like we wear with our pants? No, they're talking about a strip of rocks that stays in outer space moving all those asteroid rocks together. And you can see it between Jupiter and Mars. There's also dwarf planets in there. Dwarf planets are little planets. Rocky planets are made mostly of solid rock. None of the rocky planets have rings. Our planet Earth is a rocky planet and so are Mercury, Venus, and Mars. Mars and Earth have moons. We can see our moon at night. Earth has one moon and Mars has two moons. Here's a close-up picture of our moon. Mars is called the red planet. It is covered with red dust. It looks red hot, but it's actually pretty cold. We have sent robots to Mars to explore. We send robots up in like a spaceship and they land on Mars and they can send pictures and video back to Earth so that we can see what it looks like on Mars. Earth is just right for us to live on. It's not too hot, not too cold, not too dry, and not too wet. It has land and water. That's our beautiful planet Earth. Watch out! Venus traps the sun's heat. The planet is hot, hot, hot. Mercury's days are hotter than a pizza oven. Wow, that's really hot. But at night, it's freezing cold. Here are some other members of the sun's family. They're called dwarf planets. Do you know the most famous dwarf planet? His name is Pluto. Ice dwarf planets orbit our sun in the cold space outside of Neptune, past Neptune, the last planet. That's where you'll find Pluto. Our sun is one of lots and lots of many stars. Other stars have planet families too. Welcome back to Earth. What else is out there? We're finding new and exciting things every day. Do you know whose job it is to go into space and find those things? What's that called? Astronaut, right. There's also people who study planets. Those are called astronomers. Can you say astronomer? They study planets, asteroids, stars, moons. In the coming years, we can find out even more about the planets in our sun's family and even ones that are more far, far away. Let's talk about the planets one more time and remember their names. Learning planets one by one. Mercury is closest to the sun. Then comes Venus, Earth, and Mars in a universe that's full of stars. Jupiter and Saturn too. Our galaxy they're moving through. Uranus and Neptune far from me. Now I know astronomy. Astronomy is the study of outer space. You're an astronomer too. Now that we're learning about outer space, you can be an astronomer. I want you to show me things that have gravity. You could do a gravity test by dropping something in the air like this. It will hit the ground because of Earth's gravity. Show me what you can drop to show me gravity. You can also show me how the rings of Saturn go round and round by putting a hula hoop on your waist and wiggling your hips to show how the ring of Saturn keeps going round and round. Now let's take a trip to outer space. Are you ready? Let's get inside our spaceship. Bumping up and down in my little space shuttle. Bumping up and down in my little space shuttle. 
bumping up and down in my little space shuttle. Won't you go to the moon with me? Are you ready? Climb aboard the spaceship. We're going to the moon. Hurry and get ready. We're going to blast off soon. Put on your helmet and buckle up real tight. Here comes the countdown. Let's count with all our might. Time to blast off. Are you ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, here we go! Woo! Look at all the planets! I see Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune! Hi friends, I'm here on the moon. Can you guess which planet is behind me? I'll give you a hint. It's our planet, and it's number three away from the sun. That's right, it's Earth! Guess what? On the moon, there's less gravity than on Earth. So if I jump, I could float away. Time to get back to Earth. Come on, let's go. Here I go through outer space. Wow, this is amazing. Wow, what a great trip to space. It's good to be back on Earth. I can't wait to see what you show me, my little astronomers, of what you have learned about outer space. Maybe you could show me all the planets and tell me their names. You could show me the rings of Saturn with your hula hoop. You can show me how gravity works by pulling things back down.